so it's asking for, so let's do it. It's asking for P2, P3, and P4 of X, right? Well, uh, let me show you how to. So I, I copied equation 2-7 there so you could see it, okay, from the book. Okay, well, let's start with P2X. Um, for P2X, uh, that means L equals 2. Uh, I don't see the pad. Oh, you don't see the pad? Well, I have the pad open. Oh, I think it might be frozen. Uh, yeah, maybe if I start writing, you'll see, yeah? So for L equals 2, so we can find P2 of X. Alrighty. Now, uh, you can see uh, if L equals 2 uh, and X squared equals 1, for example, right? Uh, there's two series here. There's the A0 series, which is this. This is one series, uh, A0 series. And there's the A1 series, yeah? Okay, now if L equals 2 uh, and X squared equals 1, look what happens to A1. Uh, if you plug that there, you will get, uh, uh, it, basically it will diverge, but I could show you why it will diverge. The A1 series will diverge. A1 diverges. Why? Because the numbers simply grow big. Because, uh, you know, the series will not terminate. If you plug in, uh, uh, if you plug in uh, uh, L equals 2, you're going to get A1 into, and X is 1 or minus 1, either way. You're going to get 1 minus, uh, if L is 2, you're going to get 1 times uh, 4 is 4 over 3 factorial, which is uh, 6. Uh, you could see the pad? Yeah, yeah. But won't it, won't, if it's over, if it's divided by a factorial, wouldn't that, wouldn't that go to zero? Because the factorial is... Uh, no, watch. Watch what's going to happen. So, uh, uh, A1 equals uh, 1 minus, uh, we get uh, 4... If L is 2, we get 4 over 3 factorial, which is 6. X is 1 uh, plus, uh, keep on going. If L is 2, you're going to get uh, 4 times 1. Uh, 4 times 6 is 24 over 5 factorial. Uh, so this was 3 factorial. This is now 5 factorial. Uh, and then if you keep on rolling and, you, you know, you could test the series by all means and you will find that it's a diversion series if x squared equals 1. You could use the ratio test or, uh, uh, yeah, the ratio test would probably be uh, uh, the best here, yeah? So, so that means this diverges. There's no sum. Okay. Um, really? Yeah, because 24 is just 4 times 6. Um, and uh, and uh, the, the uh, I mean, you already have a relationship between the coefficients from equation 2, 6. I didn't copy equation 2, 6 here. So the point is this diverges. But if you look at... Uh, if you look at the uh, A0 series, now the A0 series terminates because, uh, look, uh, there's an L minus 2 here. And then every consecutive term here has an L minus 2 because those terms never go away. So when you plug in uh, 0, uh, when you plug in 2, uh, the whole thing terminates. You get 0. And so the only term that survives on the A0 series, it converges. And the only term that survives is the first term, which is 2 
uh, over two factorial. Uh, no, sorry, three. Uh, wait, three. Oh, it's two. Three times two is six. Six over two uh, factorial x squared. Right. So and then the every other every next term is zero. Every next term is zero. So I plugged in L equals two, by the way. Yeah. And um, yeah, and uh, so now I need to find what a zero is. Okay, so now I need to find what a zero is. Uh, so this is just a zero into one minus three x squared equals y. Okay, so we select a zero. A zero gets selected such that when x equals one, y equals one. Yeah. Um, so that you can get the resulting polynomials to be the Legendre polynomials. And by doing so, now PL of X is actually P2 of X because we plugged in 2 for L. So now uh, plug in X equals 1, Y equals 1. You get 1 equals A0 into 1 minus 3. So A0 is equal to minus half. Plug that back in here and you get the result. You get p2 of x, plug it back into the, the y, minus half times 3x squared minus 1. So this is Legendre polynomial for L equals 2. Questions on that? I'll let you attempt uh, the second two, Ben. You're going to be using similar approach. Oh, quick correction here. This is uh, when I flip the signs, I'm supposed to, because it's 1 minus 3x squared. I wrote 3x squared minus 1, so this will be a plus half in the final answer. Look at the A1 series. If you plug in L equals 3, to find p3 of x, look at the uh, coefficient of x to the fifth. It has an l minus 3 right here. And then every term after it will have that l minus 3 because those terms never go away. They just add. So for odd ends, this one will converge. For... For L equals 3, the A1 series will converge, and the A0 series will diverge. Right. And the A1 series will terminate on X to the 5. Well, short of that, because that term will be 0, so it will terminate on the X cubed term. Yeah. Okay. All right. So for odd Ls, for odd Ls, then... then uh... For odd L's, A1 converges, and for even L's, A0 converges. Right. All right. Okay, so uh, now for, like we said, for P3, for L equals 3, uh, we said from equation 2, 7, uh, that... Uh, the A1 uh, series will terminate and the A0 series diverges when x squared equals 1. Uh, and A1 series terminates, converges to uh, up to x cubed. So we have y equals a1 into x minus, I will plug in l equals 3. So if l equals 3, we will get uh, 2 times 5, 10 over uh, 3 factorial, which is 6 x cubed, and uh, the remaining will be zeros, because like we said, every term after this has an L minus 3, and if L equals 3, they go to 0, so plus bunch of zeros here. 
Okay, and there's three, so x one. So now for the requirement that x equals one, y equals one, we will find uh, one equals a one into one minus five thirds, and so this is five fifths minus or three thirds minus five thirds this is t minus two thirds equals one so a one uh, a one is uh, just uh, minus three halves And if I plug, if we plug this back into the polynomial, we get P L of three, since this L equals three, is uh, three halves into, I'll flip the signs here, five thirds X cubed minus X. Uh, And uh, let's see if we foil this, we get PL3 is equal to, uh, let me leave the half out, 5x cubed minus 3x. This is what you have, man. Okay, so on the last one, we'd want P4 of X. Now, uh, for P4 of X, we can see that the A0 series here, uh, although it's not uh, you know, obvious in, in equation 2-7, uh, but we could see that uh, the a the a zero series um, will be divergent. Uh, uh, when x squared equals uh, one, uh, but the a one series uh, will uh, terminate uh, will stop. On uh, X uh, I mean uh, sorry the a0 series yeah mm -hmm. because the second term that comes after this will be will be uh, L L plus 1 L minus 2, L plus 3, L minus 4. And uh, and when L equals 4, this will go away. Uh, it'll be 0. And then every, every term after this will have the L minus 4 term, and therefore it will drop. So, uh, but the A1 term, when L equals 4, there is no minus 4 term here, so because they just keep on going. So this series diverges, the A1 series diverges. So, uh, so for P4, uh, the A1 series diverges for x equal plus or minus 1, and A0 series terminates. terminates and it terminates on uh, where's the terms uh, it terminates uh, this is going to be x to the 6 so it terminates here so all this will be 0 so it will terminate on x4 um, it 
will terminate on x4 so we get <coughs> uh, y equals uh, a0 into 1 minus I will go ahead and plug in L equals 4 here so this is L equals 4 by the way that's why that uh, a0 series terminates because every term past uh, the uh, past the x4 term will have in it L minus 4 and all the terms will be 0 so 1 minus so I'll plug in 4 so I will get 4 times 5 over 2 factorial and x squared is 1 uh, plus uh, actually let me write it x squared is 1 uh, plus L so we have 4 times 5 times uh, 4 minus 2 is 2 and then 4 plus 3 is 7 all over 4 factorial times x to the 4 okay and now we need to find a0 again we choose a0 so that when x equals 1 y equals 1 so plug here so we can find the logion rate polynomial so we get uh, 1 equal a0 into 1 minus uh, 10 uh, x is 1 plus what do we have here the 4 cancels out we have left a 3 times 2 here the 2 can cross this and we get 35 over 3 and x4 is 1 and so we get uh, 1 equal a0 let's see minus 9 so this is minus 27 over 3 plus 35 over 3 if my algebra is correct and then uh, this is just 8 over 3 1 equal uh, a0 times 8 over 3 so a0 will equal 3 over 8 and I can take this and plug it back into my polynomial logarithmic polynomial so I get p4x is equal to 3 over 8 so I would plug it here in this uh, into 1 minus 10x squared plus this turned out to be 35 over 3 so 35 over 3x to the 4 And if you want to bring that 3 in, finally we get 1 8 into 3. Let me put that, the, uh, let me put the polynomial in order. So 35 x to the 4, the 10 minus 30 x squared, uh, plus 3. And this would be for L equals 4. That does it for this question.